Wendy with the Betty and Leonard Phillips Deaf Action Center in Shreveport, Louisiana. Whether or not this is your first time to have a deaf patient, or perhaps you just decided to educate yourself a little further on how to improve your relationship with your patient, welcome. Life with diabetes is challenging at many levels. The challenge has been proven to be accurate, especially with deaf individuals diagnosed with this disease. One of the most important things that you can do for your deaf, hard of hearing, or deaf blind patient is to make sure they are provided with equal access to the information needed to live a healthy life with diabetes. Being diagnosed with diabetes is unsettling, but imagine if you were not given full access to fully understanding what was going on with your body and how to take care of it. What could happen if their medications were mishandled? They were not provided the tools that they needed to understand how to administer them correctly. I mean, just imagine how that would feel and how that would impact your life. By simply identifying communication methods that your patient prefers would impact their treatment plan tremendously. If your patient's primary language were American Sign Language, ASL, Providing a sign language interpreter would give them the access that they need to thrive with this disease. The deaf, hard of hearing, and deaf blind community are covered both under Title II and Title III of the Americans with Disability Act. Title II applies to all public, state, and local health care providers, and Title III applies to all private health care providers, regardless of the size of the office or the number of employees. A qualified interpreter must be provided at your cost, if requested. The patient cannot be expected to fund the services themselves. It is also unethical and illegal, illegal to request them to bring a friend or a family member to interpret. There are several ways for you to find a certified, qualified interpreter for your patient. A quick Google search, under services for deaf with, the, with your city and state should pull up local agencies that could provide these services. Or you could go to rid.org, which is the Registry of Interpreters for the Deaf. Click on Find an Interpreter, put in your city and your state, then you simply scroll down and you'll see a list of local certified interpreters in your area. I want to give you some helpful hints while working with an interpreter. First of all, when referring to your patient, speak directly to them in the same manner that you would speak to any other patient. Do not speak in third person. Use phrases such as, tell her or ask him. You want to look directly at your patient and speak in a normal tone of voice. Also be aware that interpreters may ask for clarification or spellings of words or medications that they may not be familiar with. You have to remember that they're very knowledgeable and good at their jobs, but they're not doctors. Just remember to relax. The interpreter's not only there for the patient, but they're there for you as well. <laughs> 